Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new NanoPixel 2, the improved version inside of Rebel 8 Pro. Now, on the right side, we have Rebel 7 Pro. On the left side, we have Rebel 8 Pro. We're going to jump right in and look at the differences and the improvements. Now, on both of these versions of Rebel, I have the Impasto turned all the way up to 10. The screen is set both to uh, 1000 zoom. This is a tiny canvas. This is three by four inches at 300 DPI. Let's go ahead and zoom in all the way to 2000%. You can see the fibers are replicated beautifully on both canvases. This is the washi paper. Here on the canvas on the right in Rebel 7 Pro, you can see there's a bit more edge shaping issues where there's more divots and the line doesn't render quite as clean. Here on the left, you can see that we've got a cleaner edge around this brush stroke. Now this brush stroke, I did both of these using the generic liner inside of oils and acrylics. I've set the size to 29 and 29 for both so that everything is similar. Now, Rebel 8 Pro has bristle brushes, a brand new engine that does a better job of doing cleaner and more lifelike strokes. Let's take a look at that. And here you can see, not only do we have the beautiful lighting, coming from real shader and soft shadows, but we've got a nice clean rendered line where the stroke touches the canvas. We have this beautiful thick impasto as well as more accurate edges around the stroke. Let's zoom out on both. Zooming in and out inside of Rebel 8 Pro looks crisp and beautiful using the new smooth scaling improvement. Now this looks beautiful and detailed, but let's look at how large this canvas actually is. Now in Rebel 8 Pro, we have the option view at print size. Since this canvas is the same on both, same size, we're going to take a look at what this actually is. And here you can see this is the actual size of this canvas. It's tiny, about the size of your palm and hopefully a little narrower. Now inside of file, let's open up NanoPixel export. You have the option of JPEG, PNG, bitmap, or TIFF. The JPEG, PNG, and bitmap, these are all limited to 32,000 by 32,000 pixels, which is massive. It's a square limitation, uh, but a very large one. And TIFF is uh, unlimited in its size. You can go higher up with that one. And in Rebel 7 Pro, NanoPixel export. This does not prompt first for the saving. It does it after the fact. And here at size 1 by 1x, you can see 3 by 4 inches. All right, we have JPEG selected as the file type, which was done in the previous screen. And here we don't have an option for the file type yet. Okay, we have the options of going 1, 2, 3, or 4x. So if we go to 4x, we can see that our little tiny 3 by 4 inch canvas can grow all the way up to 12 by 16 inches. We're going to click OK. Give it a name and let it do its thing. Now in Rebel 8 Pro, this has grown uh, immensely as a feature. We have 1x and we have 4x, so we have 12 by 16 inches. You can choose your JPEG quality, uh, and this can go all the way up to 20x. So 60 by 80 inches. Notice we are now at 18,000 by 24,000 pixels. Let's click OK. Now here we have inside of photos, uh, on our left, we can see we are zoomed in at 7%. On our right, we are zoomed in at 36%. Let's go all the way up to 800. And on the right, let's go all the way up to 800. 
look at the difference in these two images at this scale. Let's bring this down to 400 and 400, down to 200 and 200. There is a huge difference in the quality and the size of these images. 100, 100. Okay, we can see here on the screen. Let's go ahead and pinch out and look at the differences in detail between these two images. Unbelievable detail. Nanopixel 2 is an incredible new feature inside of Rebel 8 Pro. Keep in mind, you can bring in photos and images that you've created in the past and upscale them. Use this as a tool that you can improve old artwork, improve the resolution of old artwork, and do some pretty amazing things, making those old pieces of art, old photos, print-worthy. All right, now let's go ahead. We're going to zoom in a little further here. You can see these edges, these at the same scale where we started in the beginning. Remember, this is a three by four inch canvas that we started with. That means if you've got a underpowered or a low powered machine, you can do beautiful work on a small canvas and export it to enormous sizes while still creating that image in a quick, low latency, fun to use, responsive environment on a smaller canvas. What do you think of the new NanoPixel 2 inside of Rebel 8 Pro? Put any comments below. And if you have questions, add those there too. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.